everyone. Thank you for joining us remotely for this virtual recruiting weekend. This video is going to introduce you to our graduate student organizations and what they do. And then we're going to have some interviews with current graduate students uh, to talk about their experience doing research here at Pitt and living in Pittsburgh in general. So sit back, relax in your jammies, and enjoy. So my name is David White. I am a fifth year graduate student from STARS Lab. Uh, so I'm like an inorganic and materials chemist. I'm also president of PLU. PLU stands for Phi Lambda Upsilon. And basically we're a student organization. We help organize social events. We help organize academic events. We try and help people get the kind of resources that they need. So we organize game nights happy hours, academic seminars, and it's really rewarding. What I like about Pitt is, is that like I got into PLU, there's really no barrier to entry. I did academic events coordinator my first year, now I'm president. It's like a really good outlet and a break from research. And it feels really good to like give back to my community. It helped me so much during my time here. Hi guys, my name is Natasha Smith. I'm a postdoc here at Pitt in the Asher Group. Uh, and I'm on the Graduate Student Advisory Board along with three other graduate students. I did do my PhD here, so I've been a graduate student and now a postdoc. So our purpose is to serve as a voice for graduate students, a place where they can raise issues they're having, and we can work to resolve these issues with the department. And some of the things we're working on is providing a dedicated counselor here at the chemistry department, make it more accessible for students to seek help or have advice on graduate life. So we're also working to form a graduate peer mentoring program. Graduate students will volunteer and new students or older students can reach out to these people to discuss issues they're having. So one of our members on the GSAB board is a first year student and we're working with her and the other first years to try and mitigate some of the stress. Moving into graduate school your first year is always going to be a different experience than what you've had in, in undergrad and so we're trying to alleviate that stress and make it easier for people to be uh, productive and successful in graduate school. And so those are some of our long-term goals. We're also serving a, as a point of contact for more immediate issues. For example, because of this shutdown, we worked with the School of Arts and Sciences to try to get parking passes for the people that are still working on campus right now. Hi, I'm Ethan. I'm an organic chemist with the WIP group. I'm a first year student. Hello, my name is Julissa. Hi, I'm Sydney Giles. Hi, I'm Josh. Hello, my name is James and I'm a first year. Hi, I'm Brian. I'm a first year student here. And Hello, my name is Jason Smith. I am a first year. Hi, I'm Alicia and I'm a first year in the Saxena group. One of the things that drew me to Pitt was the opportunity to do summer research. Because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do in graduate school, I had this opportunity to try it out for a few months over the summer. I did biochemical research as an undergrad, but I decided to try something completely different over the summer. After the summer, I was able to do the rotation program that they offer for first years here and test the waters a little bit more in different labs. So I did a computational group, I did a materials group, I rotated in a physical group, and I rotated in a biological group. The, your PI and your mentors and your group are very engaged in your learning and they help you out and you're all on the same team, so it's very collaborative um, and you get a lot of support from faculty and other uh, students, which helps um, getting adjusted in grad school and learning uh, much better. So, one thing I really like about the research at Pitt is that we're very interdisciplinary and collaborative. On one project you might have a biologist and a physical chemist and an analytical chemist all working on different facets of the same project. So there's a lot of opportunity for collaborations outside of the department. So for example, we have UPMC right around the corner. We've done collaborations with the engineering school with other institutions in the city like Carnegie Mellon and Duquesne. So there's a lot of opportunities to work with different people who have different perspectives and really work on projects that have a higher impact in the community. Uh, one thing that I really
really like about the culture here at Pitt is a very inclusive, collaborative environment that it brings. Um, I think one of the most rewarding experiences as a second year grad student is um, being able to mentor and help new incoming first years. I wasn't sure exactly what lab I wanted to join. So during your first year, you have the option to do three rotations, which I highly suggest you do. So I did some rotations in more orgo heavy labs versus some bio heavy labs. And why I joined the Islam group uh, was because I could do both organic synthesis while also learning a lot of biological and biochemistry uh, techniques. Whenever I did the poster session, I remember looking at Sean's poster and just being really excited about the research. So going into grad school, I was pretty sure that that was the group that I wanted to join. So I ended up coming in and rotating in Sean's group the first semester, and then also rotating in another group to see if I liked it better or to see if I enjoyed a different sort of lab dynamic. Ended up finding that Sean's group really did fit me the best, but I do want to emphasize how important those rotations are because I could have just as well realized that what I thought I wanted was not at all what I wanted. So do the rotations. <laughs> When I first got to Pitt, um, I expected to be in the division of um, physical chemistry, and that was just because of the skill set that I had during my undergraduate, and it turned out that that was not where I was um, going to end up. And so I ended up in the inorganic slash materials division, and what helped me come to that conclusion was the rotations that we did. Um, were super helpful and I realized where my strengths were. It helped me figure out like what balance I needed. Some students want more and some students want less interaction. And, and so um, that kind of all came together to help me choose which division. Do the rotations. <laughs> One of the greatest things that I got to experience this past year was to actually teaching. I love teaching and some of the greatest moments I had this semester, every time I went to that classroom it always just gave me a smile. I really love living in Pittsburgh. What I like most about living in Pittsburgh is that it's a really great city as someone who is like their first, this is their first time moving out of like the family home. It's almost like training wheels. I mainly walk everywhere that I want to go on the weekends. Everything is very accessible. The streets are uh, very bike friendly. You can hop on the bus for free. If there's somewhere that I feel is a little too far to walk, like Julissa mentioned, there are buses that we can ride for free. So I can get pretty much anywhere that I want to go for free, either by walking or hopping on a bus. So Pittsburgh is a pretty cool place. You have lots of museums and you have lots of parks. We also have a zoo in the National Aviary. Our student ID actually gets us into a lot of things in the community. So there's the Phipps Conservatory, which is like a zoo, but with plants. And our ID gets us a lot of discounts on community art things. I do Civil War reenacting. So um, right actually in front of the Chevron Science Building, there's a place called the Soldiers and Sailors. Some original um, artifacts of the Civil War all the way up to the modern wars. The big sports atmosphere here. Steelers jersey is both casual and formal wear in Pittsburgh. It's always good to go to the game. So if you definitely enjoy sports, Pittsburgh is a great city. It really enables us to cheaply experience different parts of culture. So the Penguins have a program with Pitt which is called Student Rush, which offers you discounted tickets. The National Aviary, the largest aviary in the United States, is right downtown and it's a great place to go. The zoo and the aquarium are also there for animal lovers. And if you just want to get outside and have a good time, there's also Shenley Park, there's the Plaza Park, there's so many places you can take hikes, bike rides, and even just trail riding. But I would say if you're going to come here, don't expect to be bored because Pittsburgh is a great place.
do the rotations. <laughs> <laughs> That's just it. Let's cut it. <laughs>